Viva Africa, viva! Viva Africa, viva! Your Excellency, President of the Republic of Burkina Faso, Right Honorable Speaker of the Transitional Assembly of the Republic of Burkina Faso, Honorable Minister of Youth and Ministers present today, members of government. Let me stand on the existing protocol and to tell His Excellency the President that the last time I came here, I promised to speak I promise to speak French, but I understand also that His Excellency the President is on an anti-imperialist drive, and therefore I have chosen to stick to English language even though it's imperialist as well and to assure the young people of Burkina Faso that Africa is with you and we stand in solidarity with you. Our generation has a responsibility and that responsibility is to decolonize this, uh, this continent from the shackles of neocolonialism. And Excellency, we are here today because we believe in the fight against neocolonialism. We believe in the total revelation of this African continent, and we believe that our generation has a mission to liberate this continent economically. Your Excellency, I, I, before I take my seat, I would want to touch on just two important issues. And those two important issues, I know, are the heart of Burkina Faso's development and the African continent. One is the peace, security, and stability of this continent. We cannot build a stable, progressive, and resilient African society if our people are in abject poverty. And therefore, we can have the conversation about democracy, but first we must liberate our continent. And so, Your Excellency, the young people that are gathered today believe that Burkina Faso is on the right path in terms of liberating itself from colonial shackles. The second issue that I want to touch on is that Burkina Faso and the rest of the continent, we are not an island. We need to move in solidarity as a continent, recognizing that the instability in the Sahel have got a direct effect on the progress and development of this continent. And therefore, every African country must take responsibility for ensuring that there's peace, stability, and security in the Sahel. In concluding, Your Excellency, I want to acknowledge the presence of the leaders of national youth councils, agencies, and authorities across the continent that have gathered here in solidarity with the youth and people of the Republic of Burkina Faso. I also want to recognize and thank His Excellency the President and the government of Burkina Faso for keeping the African flame alive, for keeping the spirit of comrades that led the revolution for the decolonization of this continent. And His Excellency, on this note, I wish to congratulate the young people of Burkina Faso, the thousands of you that are here, and to reassure you that this continent is in solidarity 
with the people of Burkina Faso. I thank you.